Welcome to uh, the first episode of Walkin' on Walkin', Chris Walkin' here. Thank you for being my special guest today. I am Christopher Walkin, actor, cabinet maker, cook, and also leading expert on the Ishmaeli. What I want to do basically with this talk show is talk about my favorite topic, walking. And we're going to continue on with a particular show I did with my friend who is a comedian by the name of Richard Belzer. Oh, Bells. We call him Bells. We call him Bells for his balls. He loves to do comedy. He's a stand-up comic. And one day we were out in the middle of Westport, just he and I and two girls. And it looks like they come right out of the Addicted to Love video by Robert Palmer. You would be surprised at how how close we got, how very close we got. And uh, what we're going to do in this particular episode is continue 
on and show you uh, just a little bit of the day, some of the shopping we did, some of the things that we went on, and this is some footage that we took a little while back. So I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little skinny here. And please ignore my hair. I've always hated my hair, but let's watch. Hi, Hi. I'm Chris Walken. Chris Walken here. We're in Westport. Beautiful. Blazing sun. And, Blazing. Uh, we're going to make a chicken, I think. A free range chicken. Is that a free range chicken? This is Cooking with Walken, one of my favorite shows of me. Today There's Richard. Today's guest is actor and comedian Richard Belts. I love Belts. Who you know from Law & Order SVU. Yeah. I love Very him. funny man. Tell me your name. Oh, please come in, Mike. When he's not soft, and look at the not. girls. I want Richard everyone to notice uh, we took a lot of time to cast these young ladies up above here on the steps that you see in front of you. And if you are watching on Instagram, my good friend Tony D has made it available for me to be on his gram. So if you're on the Instagram, come on over to Twitch. You're going to love it. And as you'll notice, the young ladies here might as well face it. You're addicted to love. Hold on a minute before we go much further. Give me a dime so I can call my mother, Rod Stewart. Ladies Doing and gentlemen, really exciting let's go in. in the kitchen. Oh, my name is Richard. Hi, I'm Scarlett. And your name is? Elise. They are Scarlett. Excuse me, I forgot their names. I forgot that their names were Scarlett and Elise. Uh, let's move on, shall we? I believe we're going to go do a little shopping. Scarlett and Elise, obviously, in the middle of Connecticut with a little black dress and stockings and high heels uh, and a blonde hair pulled into a bun in the middle of the day in Connecticut into a little market. Well, now you can see why we do this show. Richard and I start our culinary journey by traveling to a local market. It's a great road. Not Connecticut's sure. great. You know? It's a great road, is what he said. And, you know, quite a conversationalist Bells has always been. But to tell me that we're driving down and I'm just looking at everything like, wow, wow, look at that there, look at that thing. And he says it's a great road. I've always agreed uh, with the greatness. Connecticut's great, you know. It's great. Go to the city. It's wow. So here we are, Stu Leonard's. Let's go in the market, shall we? We need chicken. Yeah. Chicken. Wow, there's a cow. I forgot. Inside the market was a cow. Amazing. We need pears. Pears. I'm in her orange. Yeah, a couple of lemons. But... We're gonna need pears because we're gonna make chicken with pears. Oh, come sorry, on, Chris. Richard. Oh. I don't see sweet potatoes. Thanks. I love the music. Not now. Not even. Thanks. Thank you. So we got the chicken. Chris? Nice. Very nice pears. Richard and I enjoy the in store entertainment. My lovely assistants pick up. I always love a cotton of milk playing the violin. That's why I love the store. Because you go in there, where else do you see? Uh, an orchestra, a quartet of strings, uh, a, a carton of milk playing a violin, the viola, the cello. Uh, I did not know that cartons of milk were such gifted uh, artisans and musicians. Not only do they give of their dairy goodness, but they also uh, play string instruments. Got the rest of our stuff. We got enough. <laughs> yeah, we all Hold on, can we just go back to this know. assistant here? Yeah, okay. we we need to get to the petting. I need to see my assistants one more time. Yeah, we, we all we but, need to get is potatoes and we can go. We, okay. we, we need to get to the petting. Why petting. is Bells... Here we okay, why is Bells... First of all, I'm going to do a little commentary of my own of my own show because I'm very fascinated by the store. I always love this store. It's my favorite one. Thank you. So we got the chicken. What is Bells doing to the Chris? cow? Nice. I leave the cow alone, Bells. Well, Always. And I enjoy the export <laughs> entertainments. My lovely assistants pick up the rest of us. One's stuff. a little, uh, one's a little, uh, <laughs> they don't look too happy to be there. 
I believe they might have caught some looks in the store. And look at the look on, uh, I believe that is Scarlet. Uh, look at the look. <laughs> Live on Twitch and Twitter, thank you very much to Tony D, the Veritas machine, for letting me use his channel. Uh, mine has been uh, blocked for some reason. Come join me. I'm on Twitch live. And here we go. She does not look very happy to be there. Let me know where you are if you're viewing. Thank you. Distance pick up the rest of our stuff. We got enough. Yeah, we, we all we but, need to get is potatoes and we can go. Potatoes. We, we, we need to get to the petting zoo. Here we are at the petting zoo. When I first came here, here you man. could walk in there and they Come had on. llamas. And... Come on. Yeah, that's going to work. Come on. That yes. goat does not care. What are you doing, Bells? Later, Bells, it's not going to come to you like a dog. He's not Fido. He's not Lassie. He's not Rin Tin Tin. He's not going to be coming to sit down with you ever because he's a ram. <laughs> Look out. Make a good soup. The same day, we arrived back at the house. I'm going to change into my Hawaiian cooking shirt. Hawaiian shirt. Baby, stay over here. Bells is going to change. No. I cut the bottoms off the pan so the pears will cook with the chicken. Yes. Inside it or in the same pan? Well, the same pan. And this is what I do. I will take my pears. I'm going to prepare them very carefully. Uh, some might say, if you were talking uh, like a pun, they might say very carefully. <laughs> but you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be here all week. Try the veal. Tip your waitresses. Look at the height difference on these two ladies. Who did the casting on these two? Because this one looks like she is about to pick an apple off of a tree. I mean, good Lord, she's very tall. She's very lofty. Very, got a lot of height, even especially with those heels. Good Lord, who? I, every time I look back on these memories and everybody look also back there, I installed that vent. You see that vent? Behind there, above the stove, I installed that with my bare hands. Uh, it took a Phillips screwdriver and about three hours. And uh, I made pear chicken. Once again, it's the only thing I eat is pear chicken. Let's continue. You know, Richard, do we have salt? Lots of salt. Really that much? I mean, yeah, this is a big chicken. Oh, you know what? I bet you never thought you'd wake up this morning and see me cooking a chicken with Richard Belzer and two ladies uh, from the Robert Pl uh, Palmer video, Addicted to Love. Might as well face it, you're addicted to pears. I got an extra peeling here. If you could take about half the skin. So you want to put some old bay on How much? You should taste this, Chris, to see how much you want on it. Mm, that's good. Uh, yes, it's old bay. Uh, it's been around for hundreds of years. Uh, I actually know what it tastes like, but every time I like to pretend when I taste something that I've never tasted it before. <laughs> What's the temperature of the oven? Wow. Oh, yeah, we should heat the oven. You just guide it on. That's the way you pick up the chicken. We're going to put it yeah. in the oven So now. here we've got an onion, and we've got some pears, and we've got this chicken. So we put it in its ass. Yeah. Beautiful. Should I make a salad? <laughs> yes. Yes. So I'm going to make an arugula. And shaved Parmesan salad with heirloom tomatoes, hey. sunflower oil, and olive oil. Great. Tomatoes are a fruit. So you're going to mix sunflower oil and olive oil. And this is one of the reasons why I think Bells is a real asshole. What an asshole. Combining s sunflower <laughs> and olive oil. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything to him, but, you know, I let him do it. You know that? Yes. You want to feature the Brajol. Because it's my show. The film of the 10 best list this year for the first Did he time. say feature the Brajol? Excuse me. I, I missed some of the nuance on this show when I was ta uh, taping because I had a couple glasses of wine. And uh, one of the girls kept reaching down the back of my pants, apparently and tried to uh, stick pears in my ass. M. Citizen Kane is a number one. That's insane. It's very expensive. Citizen Kane is like the last supper. So what I'm gonna do now 
is we have enough towns. You like Spartacus? Right, I so love Spartacus. Spartacus. Because the oil gets Spartacus out. being around a bunch of sweaty men. Uh, Spartacus. Wow. It's infused with a little bit of orange. Watch out. I got you. I love the music. Oh. Oh. That's my wow. Orange a la orange. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Patient is ready. Right. Pick up the dog near oh, the here. food. That's with the food now ready. With the food we move ready. To the deck and receive a mandolin serenade from Richard's son-in-law. Oh, Richard's son-in-law came along. <laughs> How lovely. Is there anybody else that we, uh, any other friends that we could squeeze into this uh, program to uh, help them do a favor? Uh, uh, we have 16 people waiting in line to get uh, around the table. And enjoy the fruits of our labor. So, this is the life. It's Bells' dog, by the way, I, and I can't stand that dog. Uh, the dog is not very pretty, not photogenic, not very handsome, good looking, nor does it really do anything. I was, up to, I was disappointed I gave him a script with no punctuation. He didn't say a word. Thank you for cutting the chicken. He was talking to me all day. That is that, can you do that or is that too hard? <laughs> we'll cut to a clock. Excuse me. We grow beards, and then there are people have jetpacks, and there's robots, and like it's 2058. She's still enjoying it. And you and I are like skeletons. Are they sitting there? You know what they're doing? We are, I'm sorry, you know what we're doing here? We're, we're just having a goof. We're having a goof on the young lady uh, because she's trying to open up the bottle of wine, and it looks like she's maybe struggling with it a little bit. Uh, I bet if it uh, perhaps was a dick, she might figure it out. More quick. And then the people have jetpacks and there's robots and like. Keep going. Keep going with, with that cork. You're about to get to China with the cork. Yeah. And you and I are like skeletons and there's bats flying around, but she's still on screen. Jetpacks. Yeah. And in, in the 50s in school. That is her fourth attempt at the bottle. Just saying. We had these books and I said, in One the more. future, you're mm, on the jet. Nah. Cars will drive themselves. And like, where's my future, man? Come on. You don't have a jet. It's a fulcrum. Sweetheart, it's a fulcrum, all right? Do you understand uh, uh, the actual aspects of motion and design? You would understand that what you need to create is a fulcrum to pull and create a counterweight, a counter lever, if you will, so that it pulls the cork from the depths of the glass bottle. That back? Well, James Bond had one, remember? I love him, right? James Bond. I just have a feeling that we're not having wine today unless I have a sword. The guy goes, uh, he goes, a martini, the guy goes, shake, no stir. He goes, do I look like I give it down? Oh, that's right. Which is it. Baby, look. There's chicken. Oh, here, I know what I want to think of. The best eating I think, scene. Well, no, I think we need some help here. Let me. No, we're going to cut to calendars and clock. Oh, right. When I was a kid, one of the first. You know, sometimes uh, in a program, you need to take it into your own hands. These girls primarily are backup singers. Uh, they are not servers. Uh, they are from the video Addicted to Love by Robert Palmer. Uh, and just, uh, it, it, they were very uh, expensive because that's what they told us that they were from. Uh, I don't know what happened first, the outfit or, or the egg, so to speak. First jobs I got was doing a commercial and it was for pancake syrup. Ah, syrup. And I had to spend the whole day eating, eating pancakes. They didn't have a spit bucket. Wow! It was it was difficult after a while. It's not it's not what good to the, eat too many pancakes. Yeah. Here's to your. And now I believe that that is nonsense. Yeah, I believe now in my life, I I want to tell you that I've completely changed my position on that because pancakes are wonderful. I can have as many pancakes as I want. I surprised you with something. I like One buckwheat. One of your fans has a tattoo of you. <laughs> Did you know this? No. And look how great that oh, artwork geez. is. Talk about a fan. That's a terrible picture. That's horrible. Did you ever take a picture? That is the, one of the worst the tattoos of a portrait that I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure that that's not me. Picture of your nose. Of course. Take a picture. How, how, would, how would you do it? Like, take a picture of my nose just from here. Just nose. the nose. Are oh, you a great fucking kid? Here's what I want everybody to do is I want everybody to take a picture of your nose and every nose in your household and uh, save them for later and, and I'll tell you why.
that's really big. wow nose you want some nostril you could hang that there on you go wall. oh she's right there isn't that great wonderful you could spend the whole awesome. day doing this is there any dessert or what are we gonna do now i'm stuffed Me too. you're stuffed <laughs> who do i gotta blow to get a cupcake oh thank you very much i just wanted to tell you this was really great and uh, of course that was from the good people over at the funny and die that save a lot of my things this is fair use i want to thank everyone for coming to my new show and i hope you liked it very much because we're going to come back again and we're going to come back next time uh for another episode of walking on walking thank you so much for joining us i want to thank you for coming out today Make sure you like and share this video with your friends. We'll be posting it in some other places. Thank you for joining me today. Wow. Wow. Look at the numbers. Count them down. Amazing. Wow. Wow.